Welcome along to the final part of our three-part series on how to make an advanced maze game. The last thing we've got to do in this tutorial today is add a scoreboard to our game. We're simply going to go to level 1 over here in our rooms folder and open it up. And the place that we want to put our score panel is at the bottom of the screen. So we're actually going to extend our room size out. So in your settings tab, we're going to change the height of the room to 545. And that's going to give us two extra rows to work with to put a score panel in down there. Um, just click on the green tick at the top there. And do that for the other three levels. Okay, don't worry about the splash screen. Just change the height to 545 on level 2, 3 and 4 as well. And each room will just get those two extra rows at the bottom. Alrighty, so that's extended our room size out. Next thing we need to do is start programming the scoreboard. Okay, so open up your object score panel here. And what we're going to do is add an event in. First event we're going to add in is the game start event, and that's found in the other one here. You may have already done this in previous um, in the previous videos, but if you haven't, just make sure you've got game start there. And when the game starts, you want to make sure that you've got your lives that's the first little love heart here, set to 3. So that means you've got 3 lives to start the game with. Okay. What we're going to do next is actually draw our scoreboard. So we're going to add another event in, and it's going to be a draw event. On the draw event, the first thing we're going to do is go right down the bottom to the draw tab and choose the color palette here. We're going to set the color of our text, first of all. And because we've got dark backgrounds, I'm going to stick with white as our color. And I'm going to click OK. Once we've selected white as our colour, we're actually going to draw the score in first of all. So back in the score tab, go up to the bunch of yellow dots at the top and pick the third one across. It's that bunch of little yellow dots in the cream square. And that's called draw the score. So we're going to draw the score on the screen. The values we want, the X value, we're going to leave as zero. The Y value, we're going to set to about 480. And the caption will be set to score. Okay, so click on that one. And the last thing we're going to do is draw our lives. We've got three lives, and we're going to draw them on the screen as well. And the way we're going to do that is use the actual um, little picture, the love heart picture, to show how many lives we've got. So to do that, you hit this bunch of little love hearts here. Okay, let's draw life images. The X value we want for this is about 128. The Y value that we want is 480. And the image is the sprite life. Okay, so that's that little love heart image. Click OK once you've got that. And that's all we need to draw our score and our lives on the screen. The final thing we need to do in this score panel here is when we run out of lives, we want our game to restart. Okay, so people can have another turn at trying to complete our game. So we're going to add in an event, and it's going to be a step event this time. On the step event, we're going to count how many lives we've got. So we go to this heart here in the polygon shape and we test the lives so if lives are equal to zero that means we've run out of lives we're going to go to the control control tab and start a block of events inside that block we're going to go to the main two tab and put in that little speech bubble which is a caption we're going to display the message bad luck please try again and then click OK after our message is displayed, we just want to restart our game. So the little refresh button here, or the green arrows, will restart the game. Back in the control tab now, you can close off that block of events. Okay, so if we've got no lives, we're going to say, bad luck, try again, and then we'll restart our game so our players can try again. And that's all we need on our score panel. Just one thing we do need to check, though, back in our object man here, just make sure when he does lose a life, we've actually programmed our game to do just that. So when our little man here has a collision with the bad guy, you should see him losing a life. So we've set our lives to minus one, and we've checked the relative box. Okay, so make sure you've got that in the game. That just takes one life off our score panel when he runs into the bad guy. The same should happen when he hits the blue ghost. So he should lose one life there when he hits the blue ghost, and same for the white ghost. Alrighty. So we will click OK on that. Now the last thing we need to do is add our score panel to each of the rooms. So we need to add it to the splash screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it outside the room so we can't actually see it. Okay, so in my objects panel, 
just going to click in here and go right near the bottom and get the score panel and I'm going to click somewhere down the bottom where you can't see it, it's outside the room when I press the green tick it's going to say that there's an instance outside the room should I remove them? No, we do not want to remove the score panel Okay, our score panel won't work properly if it's not on the splash screen so we've got to have that score panel on the splash screen even if we can't see it Alrighty, so on the, whoops, on the next level, on level 1, we do want to see it, and it's going to go in this spot here, so, whoops, I'll just change my objects here to the score panel, and I'll stick it in its position down there. Just do the same for the other three levels. Go to your objects, select the score panel, and put it in that extra space down the bottom. Alright, just doing level 3 now, let's put in the score panel in, and finally level 4. Remember, because there's no sprite attached to the score panel, it is invisible, but we have drawn it ourselves. Oops. What's going on here? There we go. I'll just put that in the wrong spot. There we go. And that's why a little um, question mark comes up, because it doesn't know what sprite to use. But we've told it to draw the score panel ourselves. So let's have a look when we run our program at what that score panel is going to look like. Because it's the first time we're compiling this today, it's just going to take a little while. Oh, it's a big game, so it is going to take quite a lot of compile. Should go any second now, though. We've got some action. Okay, so here's our first level, the splash screen you can't see the score panel, it's hidden outside the room. When we press play, we see our room size change, we've got our score and we've got our lives. Okay, we can go through now, get a score, we can lose a life. I'll just quickly lose three lives so you can see what happens. Okay, as I hit that ghost for the third time, we get the message saying, bad luck, please try again. Click OK and we head back to the splash screen so we have to restart our game and when we press play again you can see our lives are restocked and our scores back to zero alrighty so that's how we add a score panel to our game that's a pretty big advanced maze game now we are finished so you can press the save button and if you want to take that game home and play it with your friends and family make sure you go to file and create application and that will save it as an exe file ready to be taken home on a USB